want to say thank you to all of you for being here to help us to uh, get the information out and share with the community uh, what's happened today. Uh, this morning at about 6 a.m., uh, investigators with the College Station Police Department were serving a search warrant at a residence in the 900 block of Spring Blue. During the uh, execution of the search warrant, the officers encountered a male armed with a shotgun. Uh, that male fired at the officers with the shotgun and one of our officers returned fire, striking the male. The uh, rounds were able to neutralize the threat and no other officers fired their weapons. However, the, uh, the male succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced deceased at the scene. The uh, officer involved is a six-year officer of the College Station Police Department. Due to this being an officer-involved shooting, I uh, have requested the assistance of the Texas Rangers to take over the investigation and they have agreed to that. Myself and the members of this organization don't take lightly that a member of our community um, was killed this morning. And our hearts and our prayers go out to this individual's family friends, because I know this will be a difficult time for all of them. Um, don't have any other information, but I'll be happy to take any questions that you might have. Could you begin by talking about the search warrant itself, what it was for, and who it was for, or who you may have been looking for at this residence? Yeah, I don't want to get in. Uh, this is an ongoing investigation. It's, uh, it's a pretty complex investigation, uh, and it involved multiple locations this morning. Um, I'm not going to be able to get into the nature of the warrant or the target of the, uh, of the search, but uh, it was a pretty complex investigation and it, it has been ongoing for quite some time. Was the person who fired the person who was going to be served the warrant? It was a resident of the location. But you can't say at this time whether that was yeah. the person. Was that person the only person in the residence at the time that, that all of this happened? No, sir, there were others present. Can you give adults, children? All adults. And do you have a number by chance? I do believe at that location there were three present. Were warrants served on any of those three other people? Arrest warrants? Yes. I don't know at this time. Are you able to go into details of, of what exactly transpired as, as the officers approached? Was this a no-knock warrant, or, or did they make themselves aware that they were officers who were going in, and, and then what can you release about what happened in the moments after that? I'll touch on that. Uh, this, this was a knock and announce search warrant. Uh, the, the officers present uh, announced, thoroughly announced their presence uh, throughout the serving of the search warrant. You mentioned other locations. Uh, what were the other locations for the, the warrant? I don't have those details as far as the location <coughs> addresses. Uh, there were other locations within our city. Were, were these other locations also um, active scenes as, as this was happening or? Yes, sir, they're still active now. They're, they're working those scenes. So. I know um, officer involved shootings in particular are, is they're a difficult tightrope in terms of the investigation process as opposed to other shootings. Can you walk into the details in terms of how the investigation continued after the shots were fired? The immediacy of it was, you know, triage and treat the injury and then, you know, start to check the welfare of those involved. And then uh, fairly shortly thereafter, we, we have a practice internally that if it's an officer involved, we, we utilize a, a separate agency for the investigation. Uh, so that call was made to the Rangers fairly quickly uh, after that. Uh, can you can you share who all what or what all agencies were there as this happened? Was it just College Station PD or did DPS I can't, County have any? Involvement? I can't recall if there were other agencies involved in this one. I don't I don't know that. Can I get a specific number of CSPD officers at the time the warrant was being served? And were they uniformed or plain clothes or both? Or? Both. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, go ahead. I'm gonna ask about uh, 
piece of body camera footage and, and as this investigation goes on, is there a timeline set on, on when any kind of um, footage may be released or available to the public to view to show what exactly happened when this occurred? I can only tell you that at this time it won't be made available. I don't want to get any further than that. As far as uh, I did see on the side of the complex specifically, there was a mobile command center set up, I believe. At what point was the determination made to bring that on scene? That, yeah, we use that more for on something like this. We use that more for logistics, just to have resources available because the assets are going to be out there throughout the day. The weather wasn't ideal. Uh, in a scene like this, it's it's not necessarily being used as a command instrument. It's probably being used more so as logistics. I, I had one resident tell me that at four this morning they saw a convoy of armored vehicles, police units, even an ambulance that was that was going down, I guess, Texas Avenue or somewhere. But it, is that common to have an ambulance go with a, a team to serve a search warrant? And does that, does that uh, give any indication that this was a more high risk warrant than others? No, uh, oftentimes we'll either have medics embedded on the teams that are gonna perform an operation like this. Uh, and if not, we would certainly have a medic present at the time of the execution, that's very common. So this person, this, this uh, man did receive medical care on scene, I assume fairly quickly. He would have had access to it. Again, I don't know the, how, how much medical care occurred. I wasn't a part of that, so I don't know, but there were medics present very quickly, yes. Was this connected to any other previous cases or? Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty complex investigation that's going to probably have a lot of tentacles. Were there any shots that were fired either by this person or, or the officer that went into any adjacent duplexes? I can't speak to that at this time. That search is still ongoing. Were there any residents both inside that area or neighbors nearby who could speak to the person's mental state at the time and why he decided to use a firearm in that instance. I can't, I can't say. How many officers returned fire? One officer was involved. Is it is it clear how many rounds were, were fired back? It's not clear yet. Okay. And Chief, are you able to say as, as this happened, was this person in the living room or a bedroom as he was firing the shotgun, and where was the officer at? I don't want to get into the details of that since that investigation is still ongoing and the search is being conducted. It'd be, it'd be probably premature to speak to that. Even if it took inside or outside of the unit? Inside the residence. All of this was inside? Inside. Okay. And this, this all happened, you said, about 6 a.m.? Right after 6 a.m. this morning. Is there any other information you can give about the person who was? Not at this time. I could probably get you guys to conduct the follow up with investigator or Officer Simmons. We'll have that information uh, soon enough. Do, do we know? Does this is this person's family been notified yet, or, or that's not, do they? That's they not know? certain yet. Okay. Is the officer involved on leave right now? Yes, ma'am. Good question. The officer. Uh, as with this case, a case like this, we've placed the officer on administrative leave uh, pending the outcome of the investigation. Um, so yes, the officer has been placed on leave. Paid or unpaid? It's paid leave. Is that standard protocol for any time an officer involved shooting occurs? It has been, yes. Do you, do you know off the top of your head when the last time we had an officer involved shooting in College Station? Or? We had one in 2022. When do you expect the next update to come? It's hard to say, but I would say that this that by this afternoon, uh, we may be able to put some additional information out. I would say that if you guys, you know, leave and start thinking of questions, just send those to Officer Simmons, and I'll try to get you answers if we can. Obviously, the situation is very traumatic for people involved. Can you just speak to how the officer who is involved is just managing right now? Uh, I met with him this morning, and. Uh, and he seemed to be doing okay, but you're right. It's uh, while he physically wasn't injured, uh, a pretty traumatic effect uh, on his end as well. So I would say we don't take it take it lightly. Big deal. 
and you haven't mentioned, but just for the record, uh, no, none of the members of the team that were there at the time were struck by the gunfire. No, sir, no one, no one was injured by the gunfire. Or from, from anything else related? No, sir. Okay. Chief, can I ask just one more question related to the release of videos? We've seen, especially in the last couple of years, um, law enforcement agencies around the country um, provide that video within a certain amount of time after an incident um, due to accountability and just more pressure from, from public and groups to do that. It, what, what, what are your thoughts when, when making that decision on when to release that video and, and, and why not any sooner? Yeah, I mean, our policy and practice, uh, as you point out, has been to protect those videos. Uh, by policy, I've been able to meet one-on-one -on -one with families involved in situations like this and, and share the videos with them so they have the awareness. Uh, but as far as the community at large, we've, we've protected that material uh, as a policy and, and, and we prefer to continue that. It, it, uh, I think it's best for the all involved. All right, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.